Wendy is um, commercial. Commercial director. And it means like things to my books. Look after the shop and do other things here. Which means you've got to get the project past her, okay? This is what you do. Um, she's going to tell us a bit about the place. Um, yeah. Hi everybody, who's been here before? Nobody. <laughs> One person. <laughs> Amazing. Two people. Um, so my name is Wendy, I'm the commercial director. I'm joined today by Ian, who looks after marketing here. He'd be very thrilled if you can all follow us on Instagram. Um, Stephen, who looks after our retail empire and our website shop. Give us a wave, Stephen. <laughs> Hello. Um, and Lou, is with him? I've lost Lou. Hi, Lou. So, um, Lou looks after um, our private events here, um, which is a really massive part of our business because, because we're a charity, we have to make money somehow. So, we make a lot of money um, from private events, and so we get lots of notable people here. Uh, Hollywood stars, I've seen uh, Mick Jagger here. so. Um, I think stars love it because we're quite private because of the wall, but the wall is also a bit of a problem because the kids are quite hidden as well. So thank you all for coming. Um, I've been here for around about two years today actually, this is my anniversary. Um, I came here with a real love of gardening but no actual knowledge of the importance of the plants here, but the importance of plants within our lives. Um, over the past two years, I've learnt such a lot um, about the plants here, and I've been blown away by some of the stories. <coughs> One of my most memorable moments was um, I was looking at our social media Twitter feed, and, um, and basically there was a picture of a small pink flower, um, and somebody had just tweeted it and said, this plant is the reason why I'm still alive here today. And um, it just made me have goosebumps, it was incredible. So this flower is the Madagascan Coriolico. For anyone who wants a Latin Hickey name, it's below. And um, basically that plant was used in medicine and, um, and cured childhood leukemia by over 90%. So pretty cool. So, um, we are essentially a garden that started its history in uh, medicine and it was important for the apothecaries to understand what would um, kill people but also what would kill people because that's quite important when you're studying medicine. The actual location dates back 150 years. Um, back when cars hadn't been invented, the river was really critical for transportation. So the river is right there and used to come right up to the garden. And um, there was actually a barge that the um, original apothecaries would use to go plant hunting. So they go off down to Putney and other parts of London and they collect the plants, bring them back to the garden and study them to see what was going to be medicine and to make sure that they could identify the plants correctly. Um, we're a small garden, just about four acres, and um, now we, we've moved away from not just being medicine to being a plant that's got a collection that demonstrates um, all the plants in our lives. So we've got plants which are used for everything from fabric to medicine to food and drinks. So you can find tea growing here, coffee, uh, chocolate. This is um, a cocoa pot. So that is chocolate, which is very cool. And um, yeah, that's um, a really nice thing to go and see if you can. Um, lots of people think it must be really stress-free working here. Lots of my friends who work in offices think it must be the best place in the world to work. Um, and it's sometimes amazing, but there are challenges um, to working in a place like this. Um, the biggest thing we contend with is the weather. So probably like you all go and sit in the park and have a nice time in the summer. Um, nobody really wants to hang around outside when it's slightly cold and damp in a day like this. So we do have to think quite carefully about the weather. Um, last year we had to deal with the beast from the east. We had a big old snowstorm that came and kind of covered everything in a blanket of snow. 
and all the gardeners were kind of running around trying to keep all the delicate plants in the greenhouses nice and snug. So um, that was a, a big challenge. Um, and everybody wants to visit in the summer. And I kind of think sometimes from a marketing point of view, even if we had Beyonce booked, if it was raining, nobody would turn up. Um, so, and then the other challenge is getting across the value of the plants and the importance of the plants to our visitors. Um, and that's where I think you guys come in because creative people have always had a way to see things with fresh eyes and um, can portray things in a really inspirational way. So I'm hoping you can interpret things um, in a way in which we haven't thought about to help our visitors and help us kind of see things in a new light. Um, just bear in mind our visitor profile. So it's largely um, kind of ladies who lunch from a Chelsea perspective. Um, so we don't want to completely alienate and shock them. We want something that won't kind of scare them and make them never come back again. But we want something that potentially they'll buy into, but also we tap into a new audience too. So I'd suggest you think about looking around the garden, but also look at our Instagram feed. And if you hashtag um, Chelsea Visit Garden, you'll see what other people have been interested in when they come here, so that might be a quite a good thing to do. Um, I'll end by saying that the Plant Kingdom is an amazing resource with a array of toxic plants, but also useful ingredients um, that help all aspects of our lives, um, from everyday crops, from things like oakum poppies to potatoes. I hope you'll be inspired, and I hope you'll be able to inspire us again, as people can see this every single day. Um, and I hope you'll help us to be a bit less in the secret garden. So, Downstairs, but it's being totally <coughs> renovated, so normally we'd be able to give you a copy, but sadly, we can't. But in about two weeks, when you come back, there will be a copy, I promise. Um, so, I don't know if anyone's got any questions relating to their specific topics, but Stephen here is our retail expert, so if anybody's thinking about things that might be right for the shop, he's a really good person to ask. And what the gardeners get up to because he hangs out with them at lunch times. Um, so yeah, he's good to chat to. And then anyone interested in events and our event sort of operation, Liv, if she's still here, I don't know if she's she's still here. Um, <laughs> she's hiding in the back and all yeah. Does anyone got any questions? What is your main publicity strategy? So when I first came here, I thought, oh, you know, it's all going to be digital because paper and printing is so last year. Um, and I quickly realised that a lot of our visitors are older. Um, they don't have computers. Um, they definitely don't have iPhones. And so, um, although it would be lovely to stop printing on paper, um, people here and a lot of our visitors love a leaflet and they love a leaflet sort of delivered through the letterbox. So um, we sort of have to do a, a, a two-pronged approach in that we, we're seeing a huge growth on Instagram and some of our digital platforms, but we can't be relying on it because we're not quite that cool yet, so we have to kind of do a bit of both. Um, a bit of a crossover, and then we do quite a lot on um, sort of earned media. So we send out quite a lot of press releases and get picked up by <coughs> Not just the garden press, but actually, um, randomly, I think one of the one, when I was looking at our website, Google Analytics, um, places like Vogue, um, as a, a very trendy, cool um, hairdresser called Sam Knight, who you may probably not know, he does a lot of Vogue fashion shoot hairstyles, and this is one of his favourite places. 
um, and he came here and did a shoot here. And so, because that was featured in Vogue, we got a lot of traffic to our website. So, things like that really help us out too. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. I, I guess for the specifics of, of this task, if it's something that would more than likely go in the shop, yeah. then the marketing channels for the shop are repeat business from people in the garden. So we do have a shop function on, web, on our website and also the shop gets onto leaflets or when we're doing like the Christmas fair or our, <coughs> our program of events, the Herald in Spring, which is when we reopen in two and a half weeks, there'll be, there'll be lines about the shop. So that's probably our main rest of the spy word now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Say it's like the iconic plant of this garden. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what a kind that's of a place. really good question. Um, I mean, there's a, there's one plant that flowers. It's not the iconic plant because, like, I'm sure, I imagine every gardener would have five different ones. There's one plant that we think flowers pretty much every day of the year. Yeah, it's a rose. Yeah. So there there is there is there is a plant like that. So that has got some significance, but. You know, it's not the best plant, but it's the most prolific. It's the one I suppose that kind of gives good value for money. I mean, I guess depending on who is visiting. Um, we had a visit in the, I think, summer last year uh, by Big Nasty, and he was particularly interested in one plant uh, of medicinal benefit. And um, I guess that would be his. I was, you know, I kind of Lee, have you got a picture with him? I did. Yeah, it's that's on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't make it onto the show, so we didn't show it. Someone actually said that's the funniest picture they've ever seen in their lives. <laughs> Me and Big Nasty. I tried to shake his hand and it just fist bumped. <laughs> Shows how cool I am. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess there's the mandrake, which is.
tweeting about plants that we don't completely use for our This is a daffodil, <laughs> it's not a daffodil at all. It's someone yeah. will be quick to cut us right, so we quite often check with the gardening team that we're getting our facts right. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a mix really. Um, what do you I can certainly send you a summary of, yeah. of the data. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite sort of top level, you know, um, if people enjoy visiting and what they enjoy the most in that region. But yeah, I can share that.